So this is Project Cat. It uh, is described as a horror RPG about a high school student, but is also described as a story-based puzzle game with multiple solutions and outcomes. So I'm interested in seeing what we're dealing with. Um, I'm just going to get started here since we did uh, already see a little bit of this on the earlier attempt that had problems. So I won't spend much time on this uh, hopefully initial portion of the game. Got instructions on moving. All right. Press Z to interact. Open the gate. All right, there's a white flower on the ground. Press Z to pick up items. Yes. White flower attained. All right, and inventory is accessible with X. So yeah, so here is where I realized earlier that things weren't working as expected. The building head seems locked somehow. And it is showing me how to use an item with an item in the environment. So approaching the door, it's pretty obvious what the game wants you to do. We have four vases, three have flowers. The door has three green lights and one red. So obviously I'm supposed to put the other flower in this vase. Right? That's what the game wants you to do. Except the flower sank into the water. And so here, instead of what we expect to happen, which is the door opening, we get this hellish view. And this dark creature comes out. Pity. You thought that would work. You should be more careful about the decisions you make. This is so slow. The solution may seem obvious, but there is always another way. You may not notice it right away, but your actions will have an impact sooner or later. You may not even remember what you did to cause it. Sadly, regret is always in the shadow of choice. Also, you know very well this isn't your home. So why do you mess with things that don't belong to you? It's a good question. You're not welcome here. This isn't some silly game. Look. This is the result of your actions. The result of your expectations. Things are not always what they seem. What do you think? Does this still look like a flower to you? You're not prepared to deal with the truth. Are you? I can't stop you from coming. But if you're foolish enough to cross my path, I'll kill you myself. Such is the way of our world. Well, that's pretty menacing. And now I'm waking up, presumably from a dream, um, yep, at school. Whoa, weird dream. Is everybody gone already? Looks like it's 11. I should get to it. Like 11 at night? 
and this little intro screen project cat i like the appearance of this that's nice nice little visual ponytail girl oh no you moved it so they're using a ouija board i didn't i swear you know i hate this type of thing this can't possibly be happening it spelled die oh my oh no stop joking around this is serious ah uh, we should not have played this i told you we're going to be cursed there's, there's a knock what was that is that a ghost we summoned a ghost oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god You're making too much noise. Oh, it's just Cat. What's with the crazy knocking? What was that for? Did that spook you? You're not supposed to be here, you know. I can say the same about you. Why are you here? Actually, say hello to the new member of the occult club. I had the wonderful opportunity to meet all of the members yesterday. I don't recall seeing you there. You three are not part of the club, are you? That's funny. I didn't pin you, of all people, as the occult type cat. That's because I'm not. Hey, we were doing something here. I need to work on my reading this out loud and uh, the timing as it appears very slowly. I'll save you the trouble. All three of you, all three of you moved it. Huh? The, the planchet? Is that how you say that? The planchet from your game. You all moved it. There's no ghost in the room. There's a simple scientific explanation. It's called the idiomotor effect. I don't know if I pronounced that right either. Simply put, just like your body reacts to pain reflexively, it may also react to ideals and move on its own pretty much bypasses the part of the brain which we use for conscious behavior. It's not all that different from blinking, blinking. It's not all that different from blinking or breathing. The effect is even stronger when a bunch of gullible people who are desperate to believe in ghost stories get together and play. There was an experiment where the players were blindfolded and suddenly the ghosts could no longer spell messages. You can try it if you don't believe me. In other words, your mysterious answers from beyond are really just your imagination playing tricks on you. Great job killing the mood. You must be fun at parties. Thanks a lot, cat. Always a pleasure. All right. Time to search. I should go over my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. First thing we're gonna do is hit up the settings. Mm, advanced settings. No. Video settings. Sync FPS. Alright. 
No, it doesn't work. Sorry. Man, I am really struggling with this. Resolution. Let's just do full screen. Okay. Let's try that and see if it works any better. So now it's an inventory. I've added, I have the ritual notes, a lighter, and candles. Check your notes, all right? Okay, I need three rooms, 12 candles, a lighter, a rune, a tuft of hair, and chalk. Sort the desks in each classroom. Turn off all the lights and draw the curtains in each classroom. Draw a path going through the three rooms with chalk. In the middle room, place one candle on each desk, light the candles and wait. All right, so we're at three rooms, 12 candles, a lighter, a rune, so why do I have? I need to search the school for the items. The room should be in this room somewhere. Okay. Suspicious news articles and posters representing magic circles. Some small plants. Their quiet existence fascinates you. The drawer underneath is empty. This drawer won't open. A crystal ball resting on a cushion. Wow, that cheap plastic exterior really makes it look authentic. An expensive looking radio. Turn it on? Yes. What are you even doing? Just looking around? Cardboard boxes marked with a symbol. They're sealed with tape. The runes my friend mentioned may be in here. I need a way to open it. Okay. A spherical model of the earth. Red crosses mark certain locations. A thick purple book. A spell book. It looks weird. And it also looks fake. A trash can. It seems to be full. There's some chalk here. Take chalk. Why yes. Draw something on the chalkboard. Why yes. What should I draw? Let's draw a butt. It's done. Eh. Tina Belcher would be proud. This was the most pointless thing you've done today. Yeah, that is probably true. My fabulous masterpiece is displayed here. It's the box for the game the girls were playing. It says, Ouija game board for two to four players. Get answers from beyond. Warning, we take no responsibility for any adverse effects playing this game. Oh, for any adverse effects, playing this game could cause... Let me try that whole thing again, because I slaughtered it. Warning, we take no responsibility for any adverse effects playing this game could cause to you or your loved ones. Such as disappointment, I presume. Not bad music. It's a school bag. There's something shiny inside. Do you need something? Maybe later. All right. A cool breeze blows in from outside. Close the window. Yes. All right. I think we should leave this room for the moment. Sign reads, no running in the hallways. While moving, you shift to run. But the sign says no running. A pen board with some important school papers. An unexciting trash can. It's locked. This room is... What is this room anyways? 
I don't think I've ever seen anybody use it. All right, well that room is locked. All right, let's see. According to my notes, I need to move the desks to the sides in all three classrooms. Then I can draw a path in the middle of each one with chalk. Well, I'll leave the chalk drawing for last. I want to gather everything I need first. Should I sort the desks in this classroom now? Yeah, go ahead. This part should be easy. Push the desks into the green zones to complete the puzzle. Alright, well. Well, I've done screwed up. How do I undo that massive screw up that I've already done? Okay, this is all, ah, crap. Man, if I've soft locked myself already, I'm gonna be annoyed. I think I'll just do it later. Okay. Yes. Alright, so apparently hitting X worked to exit the room. And reset the puzzle which is good because man I it would not have surprised me if I managed to soft lock myself which was would have been really annoying a simple trash can his contents look trashy a wooden desk a wooden desk a wooden desk a wooden desk this is my desk. I keep all kinds of cool stuff here. This might be useful. Take dusty hairpin. Yes. Anything else? There's nothing else. A wooden desk. A happy green plant. Alright, let's hit up the other desks. Oh, right, so let's hit up this podium or whatever. The teacher's podium. It is, it is a podium. How about that? Some books and chalk. Take it. Sure, where well, I got chalk, but you can never have too much. Some very thick school related books. A wooden desk. A wooden desk. A wooden desk. A wooden desk. And guess what? A wooden desk. Oh, there's my scissors. Yes. I definitely need the scissors. Some geometry books. Some geometry books. Some boring textbooks, as opposed to geometry, which apparently isn't boring. A paper slip with rules for students. There's no time for rules right now. Yeah. Some classroom attendance sheets and schedules. Those need to be closed anyway. Close that one. Okay. We're good there. Let's move back to here so we can go open those boxes and see if the rune is there. Um, cha scissors. All right, let's cut this open. There's a bunch of useless trash in here. Aha! This little box may be it. There's three runes, but the ritual didn't mention a specific one. Which one should I take? It's a good question. Let's 
so I don't know if I have the right one or not. Okay, that's fine. So let's see, I need three rooms, 12 candles, a ladder, a tuft of hair, and what do I have? 12 candles, chalk, a rune. So really, do I just need a tuft of hair? Let me go ahead and sort the desks. In the other rooms. And if I don't find hair, then I guess I'll try to cut it from one of those girls. Okay, so this is a little more challenging. But I guess as long as I'm careful, I should be totally fine. There we go. Not bad at all. There we go. That's what I said. The trash can, you can feel uninclined to dig through it. Oh, you feel uninclined. A wooden desk. I'm going to check all the desks. So, prepare to be bored. A wooden desk. A wooden desk. A wooden desk. And guess what? A wooden desk. 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 And a wooden desk. Exactly what I expected. The teacher's podium. There's a useless history book here as well. Is it about useless history? Or is the book useless? Some books and chalk. Take it. I've got a shitload of chalk. Some very thick school related books. A clean chalkboard. A happy green plant. Close those. Uh-oh. The curtains here are missing. According to the ritual instructions, I need to black out all the rooms. But where will I find new curtains? Well, we got a new objective. Find curtains. Some classroom attendance sheets and schedules. A paper slip with a list of regulations. No one reads these. Why do they bother? Some boring textbooks. A model of Earth. It's fun to spin it. A geography textbook. Some textbooks I don't care about. And some textbooks I don't care about. I guess it's the same textbooks that she doesn't care about. Pin board with some important school papers that no one cares about. The exam schedule. Classroom 3C. A boring trash can. Alright. Go ahead and sort the desks. Alright. Okay, this one's going to be more challenging. Not bad. Not bad, just requires a bit of uh, thinking it through before starting and boxing yourself into a situation that you can't get out of. A trash can. As it's usually the case with trash cans, it's devoid of useful items. Guess what? We're going to check all of the desks. I mean, I found something useful, maybe. In one desk. Oh, my hairpin. Maybe it's got tough to hair. 
How will I find out? I don't. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's a red notebook here. Obtain student's notebook. A wooden desk. A wooden desk. The teacher's podium. A geography book and globe sit atop it. A clean chalkboard. Some very thick school related books. Some books and chalk. Take it. Absolutely. I love me some chalk apparently. A happy green plant. Close the curtains. Some classroom attendance sheets and schedules. <clears throat> Two paper slips filled with rules and regulations. I wonder if it says somewhere that we're not allowed on school grounds at night. Oh well. I guess we'll never know if I don't read it. Some boring textbooks. Some world encyclopedias. I would definitely steal one of these if they weren't so darn heavy. Some world encyclopedias. Okay, I just want to make sure I wasn't at the wrong place. And some cute potted plants. Their silent nature enchants you. Okay. So let's check out the student's notebook. It looks like a private journal. Look through it. Absolutely. Let's see. Black. It's just math problems and girly doodles all over. This isn't worth my time. Well, lame. Okay. So I can't use the hairpin at the moment. Club room. This is the theater club room. It's locked. I may be able to find some curtains in there. I wonder if any of the girls are a member of this club. I wonder if I can use the hairpin. Yes, pick the lock with a hairpin. Absolutely. Let's give it a shot. Press Z when the indicator matches the green zone. Well, that didn't go as planned. What? I absolutely did it. Okay. I was having some timing issue, but I got it. Uh, let's explore. Several handmade costumes are hanging from the rack. Black, they have poor taste in clothes. Calm down, lady. Some cardboard boxes full of neatly folded costumes. A pile of neatly folded drapes. Take them. Yes, yes, I think I will. There are various makeup kits and accessories in the drawer. There's some paint and brushes in the drawer. Board. I can't tell what's drawn on it. Some blankets are sprawled all over the floor. A table with a blank sheet of poster paper and some colored pencils. There's really no incentive to check out the contents of the trash can. A large pile of cardboard boxes sealed with tape and a rack with various hats and scarves. Alright. It's not working. Okay. Okay, so I've got the drapes, so go to the middle room. Here we go. Uh, why did I try using the notebook? That was not my intention. All right, so do the trick. Perfect. All right, so that's done. So now I just need a tuft of hair. Let's go back to the first room and I guess I'm gonna try to cut some ice. Oh no, let's go to this other room now that I got a hairpin. What is in here? I'm really curious to see what's behind this door. I don't have time for this right now. You absolutely have time for it. 
Don't tell me what you have time for. Lady. Keep saying lady. Ponytail girl. Obtain girl's hair. Did you just... Oh my god. What have you done? Get the hell out. Well, at least I got what I need. Okay, so let's look at my objectives. Draw a path with chalk in all three classrooms, set and light candles in the middle room. And let's look at the ritual drawing. White chalk lines, okay, at the podium. Hoping I can just do like this. And she'll draw it for me. Well, my lines aren't perfect, but it should do the job. I need to do this in all three rooms. Alright, I'm gonna skip whoa. Why did that just happen? There's somebody in that room. I totally saw somebody in there. Hmm. All right, a little bit creepy. Let's draw the lines in this room. Two down, one to go. see anybody in here but there was clearly somebody in one of these all right chalk lines drawn and I, so I think I need candles on each desk is that right in the middle desk candle on each okay At least I don't have to do each individually, just six at a time. Okay. Sort the desks in each classroom, turn off all the lights and draw curtains in each classroom. Lights aren't on, are they? I don't even think there are lights. All right. Draw a path going through the three rooms. In the middle room, place one candle on each desk, light the candles and wait at least five minutes. Okay, so we gotta light the candles now. Okay, candles are lit. So now what? Everything's ready. All that's left is to wait five minutes and then burn the hair. This is going to be such a pain to clean up. She's sleeping. Why would you do that? There's a room to explore, cat. A room that you said you don't have time for. Uh-oh. She's dreaming, I bet. Seriously, stop messing with things. But everything I mess with ends up being a scam. What if someday it isn't? What if you end up summoning some ghost or the devil and condemning your soul to an, to an eternity in the netherworld? What if your soul is already damned? Then I guess that's what's waiting for me after I die. Cat. That's a joke. You're not going to find him this way, you know. You'll just do whatever you want, no matter what I say, won't you? It's possible. Stubborn idiot. I prefer ambitious idiot. So, will you tell me where the letter is? You exhaust me, cat. You know that. And yet, here we are. Fine, you win. It's in the occult club. There's a golden envelope in one of the drawers. But they won't let you sniff around since you're not a member. Thanks, you're the best.
Is there somebody at the door? Um, objectives updated? Okay, just burn the... I want to get in this freaking room. Why am I not running? I should be running. Try this again. You would have had the time if you hadn't taken a nap, idiot. Locked, right? Oh no, it's not. There's a golden envelope in the drawer. <coughs> These are the instructions for the ritual I'm doing. Thankfully, I shortened them when I wrote my notes. Read the full ritual? Yes. Because <coughs> she probably missed something. You must play alone. Okay, requirements. Three dark adjacent rooms, 12 candles, a lighter or matches, a rune. A tuft of human hair, white chalk or white paint. Preparations. Start after the sun has set. All three rooms must be pitch black. Turn off all lights, draw the curtains, and close the doors. Using the chalk or paint, draw a path going through the three rooms. This path will serve to connect your current location to your destination. In the middle room, place six candles on each side of the drawn path parallel to it. Instructions. Light each of the candles and let them burn for at least five minutes. From this point, you can no longer abort the ritual. Doesn't seem right. I mean, if you don't finish it, then how can you no longer abort it? Anyway. After the five minutes have passed, burn the tuft of hair on one of the candles. Proceed to blow out all the candles one by one. When the last candle is put out, quickly close your eyes and count to 100. Open your eyes. To remember, you must always close the door behind you. Leaving it open may attract unwanted attention. Do not let the rune out of your possession. It is your only protection. Well, I'm glad I took the protection rune. Do not bring any weapons with you. If you arm yourself, so will they. Should anything be heard or felt while you count to 100, it must be ignored. Do not open your eyes. Do not turn on the lights. Do not move. It is normal to feel like you are not alone. You won't be. Alright. I'm glad I read those. Can I leave the, the scissors in here? I'd like to. Uh, I wasn't trying to get more hair done. Just because I'm in the room where I got hair. Because I don't need any more hair. Well, that's not what I was trying to get. Idiot. Ambitious idiot. Let's do this. Alright, now I just have to blow out the candles. So... Huh? the candles did they just <clears throat> blow themselves out yes yes they did I guess I should count to 100 close your eyes cat one two three four five 28 29 30 why am I doing this this ridiculous game couldn't possibly work don't get distracted cat 55 56 57 58 I wonder if mom is worried about me. Focus. Hmm? What was that? Focus, cat. 79, 80, 81, 82, 81. What's all that noise? Is anyone there? 97, 98, 99, 100. So I open my eyes. 
Yes, you do, cat. Yes, you do. It worked. It worked. It worked. I can't believe it. This is incredible. But where am I? It's a hallway? It definitely isn't the school. This is unbelievable. How could it have worked? It doesn't make any logical sense. I was in the classroom a minute ago. Have I gone mad? This is so exciting. I can't believe it worked. If I wake up from this and it turns out to be a dream, well, that would be disappointing, to say the least. Okay, I definitely need to check this place out. Explore the strange place. Easy enough. Hope up while moving. Climb up the stairs. Okay. But not yet. Not yet. We got more stuff to do. Wow, this is a big place. This is a very big place. Jeez. Oh, it made a circle. Okay. A door with glossy finish. It is locked. Good thing I've got a hairpin. It has no keyhole. Well, darn it. A small door with an odd pattern. It is also locked. Th this door has no keyhole. What's with these doors not having keyholes? A black substance strips down from above. Whatever it is, it looks disgusting. A door with an odd pattern. It is very locked and also boarded up. I'm going to try it. A door with an odd pattern. It is locked. I bet it doesn't have a keyhole. What do you think? This door has no keyhole. I was totally right. Okay. A door with an odd pattern. It is locked. I'm sensing a pattern. Very much so, sensing a pattern. Let's try these stairs. It's the only place I haven't been. What is this? A black substance drips down. Where is this stuff coming from? I don't know, cat. A fairly normal looking door. It is locked. The lock looks really sturdy. I should try to pick it. Ah, freaking frack. Okay. I gotta do a much better job. So, what do I do with no power pin? I mean, <clears throat> I broke my hairpin. Surely there has to be another way, right? Yeah, you could burn these planks down. Let's try that, cat. That's no use. I'll run out of fuel before they even warm up. That's strange. Have I already passed through here? Well, yes, you have. It's a circular room. I have. Hmm. There must be something I missed. Well, clearly there is. Cat. Jeez. Nonsensical pipes run all over the place. They're warm to the touch. Is this some sort of heating? Okay, black stuff under the stairs makes me uneasy. What if it comes alive or something? Let's burn it. We can't burn it. What's this? No? Okay, so 
What do I do since I broke my hairpin and I can't pick the log? Uh, this circle to run earlier, I'm certain. Uh, am I lost? I don't remember this hallway being so long before. I don't either, Cap. I'm on. I'm. Uh, I'm with you there. Hey, there's a key hanging from a hook. Heck yeah, take the key. It's a fairly normal looking key. It probably goes in the fairly normal looking door. It's just my powers of deduction at work. All right, let's head up these stairs and try the fairly normal looking key in the fairly normal looking door. The key fits, imagine that. Hmm, what's this? Am I back at the school already? Okay. Are you? Are you back at the school, cat? Let's have some fun, shall we? Entertain me for a while, and in return, you'll get nothing. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Run, run, run. Hey, there's a creature. Check out creature. I can't. I can't check out the creature. Do you even know where you are? You chose a one-way trip to hell, kid. Alright. Well, if I chose it, then let's make the best of it. My hell trip. You didn't think this far. Now that you can prove that these rituals work, you have no way of going back to tell anyone. The knowledge will die with you. Running down the hallway. All right, what have we got? Are you lost? Yes, yes, I am lost. Thank you for noticing. Well, this is different. You should give up. You will never leave this place. False. I will leave this place. That's my Dwight Schrute impersonation. I mean, I didn't try to sound like him. I just said something like he would say. Your mother will be devastated to learn that she's now completely alone. No husband. No daughter. Everybody left her. How pitiful. You couldn't tell your father goodbye back then. And now you won't get to tell your mother goodbye either. What if I told you that someone you know is in here with you? Would that make you hopeful? Believed? I know what you're thinking. Then I can escape with them. But these rituals have no way back. They were never designed that way. After all, why would you give your prey an escape? Yeah, good question. Man, those are creepy eyes. Creepy dark figures with creepy red eyes. And here you are, a poor little lab mouse stuck in a maze. You only have until I decide I'm done playing around with you. And then, snap. Well, there's the creepy black figure just popping in and out. This is definitely a maze. Well, I mean, it's not a maze maze, but it's, you know. Interesting. Just, I'm, I can see now why they put run in this game. All right, another note. How would you like to stay trapped in here until you die? Hmm? I mean, I wouldn't love it. Do you like it? I think it's just what you need. I don't think it is. 
Maybe now you will reflect on the stupidity of your actions. In the meantime, I'll just watch you rot away. Shut up, that's enough. Whoever you are, get out of my head. My life is my business. My decisions are mine alone. Let me out of this place. I know there's a way out. There has to be. Please. There must be a way. I want to go home. Okay. So we're back here. I'm out. But I'm still in this hallway. I don't like this. I need to get out of here. Escape this cursed place. Alright, that's a good objective. I mean, you could tell me how. But at least I know that's my goal. I'm just going to walk down this hallway again. That worked last time. Sort of. Just going to keep walking for a bit. See if something changes. By the time I've made my second rotation, if nothing has changed, then we'll start trying doors. Seem fair? Alright. Is this the glossy door? Yeah. Let's go ahead and try this one. An odd pattern. I mean, this one also has an odd pattern. I mean, I, I say that because I'd already checked it earlier. Oh, this one's open. Wasn't it boarded up? It was. Everything else is locked. I have no other choice but go in. It seems smart. All right, so there's something dripping. I see red in the distance. It's like blood. It's a trail of blood. Uh, this is a decapitated body of ponytail girl, right? Beheaded corpse? That can't be. How is this possible? I just saw her a while ago. I don't understand. Uh oh, here's another one. A bloody corpse. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. This can't be real. It is not real. Right? I don't know. It looks pretty real to me, Cat. And the third. A bloody corpse. The lower half is missing. Uh, this is my fault. Well, you mess with demonic stuff. What do you expect? Cat. A welcoming door. It is locked. I have to get out. It's not going to help. A math notebook. Nothing worth looking through. The door. I, I can leave. I can go home. What's happening, cat? She looks startled on the edge of tears. Pretty fitting. I don't want to die. Some kind of gruesome noises. And roll credits. Interesting. I... Yeah, I like that. That was. It was a nice little game. It was short. Um, had an interesting story. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it looked pretty good. I, good, average, you know, normal gameplay. I mean, yeah. I think it's good. I uh, 
for a free to play game. I mean, I was very happy with it. So, I'm gonna call that one a success.